And welcome back. We're venturing off into our third segment for the morning. It, it, it is a fun Friday. In with us is a musical guest, Cross the Nitro. Ooh. And they how you Thank mean. You. <laughs> <laughs> she killed Cross the Nitro Nunes, who is an artist, and of course, his producer, director is here with us as well, Kenneth Grant. Everybody know him from Night and Day. Guys, welcome. Good morning. And it's so nice to have you in. Good morning to you. Cool well. shirt, by the way, my brother. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for. <laughs> now, Shikel, um, let's, let's get into it. Uh, you know, Belizean artists are popping up from, uh, from all corners of the country. And it is a plus for the country because one of the things that we do is actually sing either about our country or about our experience. Yeah. At this particular point, uh, looking at your video or reading your bio, we know for a fact that you, you, know, you, you speak about your experience. Oh. Talk to us about yourself. Who is Shikel? Well, basically, I'm a person who is different from everybody. I see myself not on the scale of average people, be on the scale of that, you know, it's because I have certain intellectual capabilities mm -hmm. and I seek beyond the surface, you know. So I'm just an open-minded, I'm just a universal person. Yeah, person. Yeah. And how old are you? 23. 23 years how old. How long have you been uh, following your passion for music? Well, I started 2009, mm -hmm. and it's just starting to get serious now, recently. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And what prompted you to express yourself through music? Well, I don't know. I think it's the only way I, the only thing on face of the earth where I make for the way I know how for the mm -hmm. I handle it well. Mm -hmm. And so God gave me the task for I could execute that, you know, and yeah, transfer my messages, my experiences, my passion, you know, people experiences where what I want to transfer in and read them and put it down. Branch off to us a, a, a little about your life story because we know that your, your, your music video, your video is actually talking about your lifestyle, your life story. And so in about a minute or two, tell us about your life story. What prompted you to this video, to this music? Well, as everybody know, life no easy, right? Mm -hmm. But then see where life no hard either. It's basically, it's like me, cross. The reason why I name myself class is because of Libra scale, right? So life is what they make it is like, you know, moderate sense, like in you know, the middle. You could make life anywhere how you want. And the next thing, lately I had to re-educate myself and I had to find out a lot about word, song, and power. Yeah, you know, and a lot of facts we get hidden from we as diaspora Belizeans, I would say, they're not taken from Africa way, way back. I, I, I don't want to get into this conversation, <laughs> but I have to like, take it for where I come from, you know? Yeah. But I um, have a lot of things where I try to keep myself. And for the moment being, life is how to make it. My life is how I make it. And right now, I make my life I make my life be how Ja choose it for make I make it be that like this. Just if make I push music so nobody can tell me about no no get into what I supposed to do because I know what I supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That me just get up on that that would drive. It's a that like I can't explain it today. That like if I got alright, if I got music and my rhythm mm -hmm. and I need a woman sometime. <laughs> so they gotta stay home and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Honestly. Really. These guys are laughing at you. I hear you. Don't worry. Yeah, but but let, me, let me ask you something, because what you're saying is really important. You are using your life experience. You are using the lessons you've learned through life and also things that you have learned through your own education process. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the funny thing. Sometimes with music, people tend to gravitate towards the party, the drinking, yeah. the dancing, the, the sexy stuff, the whatever makes us feel happy. Mm -hmm. And when they hear music that oftentimes reminds us of challenges, not everybody wants to go that route. How do you, how do you balance it? How do you make sure that you mm -hmm. are staying true to yourself in what you believe in and what you want to share, but also make it appealing to the wider audience? Well, um, honestly, that question is kind of a contradicting because of 
me as the artist mm -hmm. have to please the audience, right? And mm -hmm. I can't just please one set of people. They have different people in you know, the world. They have mm -hmm. different different cultures, different type of music, different instruments, and people would like to hear different songs. Yeah. Right? And even if you um, there were certain culture, mm -hmm. you could you could um, you could diverse yourself. You could try something new. You know, yeah. like um, the the word I look, versatility. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could, you could, right. So when it comes to that part of my music, I am a very consistent, perpetual intellect. Mm -hmm. That means from a producer, I get tired of tired of me honestly from a producer. <laughs> well, he's My right here. We'll ask him right now. No, no, he's oh. the video oh, okay. director, the director. Right? but the mm -hmm. producer behind the computer that mm. records the voice and clean it up and thing. Yo, I'm on the time. Boy, I hide for you on the cast. But <laughs> <laughs> every day, yeah, I in at the studio. I record new songs. I, I keep on it. I keep on it. I keep on it. I want to know what's next. Mm -hmm. That's why I get my name, the moving, because I keep moving, you know, Nitro Press Gas. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I, I, I get the sense of it. Where, uh, where we right. get the Nitro, the Nitro from. <laughs> Let's if you on. could uh -huh. say from your song one line that you really hope people mm -hmm. walk away with, what would it be? Well, Life is what you make it. <laughs> no, man, we don't know that, that, that the title. Tell me the next one. Um, well, we, as our people on earth, we have to start all meds before we, store, before we soil, start to travel, because we don't want to be last when the time comes. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, if, if you understand where I come from, everybody had their own spirituality, their own belief, and so, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But honestly, as a person on top on my behalf, I do not partake in religions. Mm -hmm. So, I just believe in the Creator. There is a Creator, and mm -hmm. I'm I seek in you know, myself to find myself here, where yeah? and that leads me to get closer to Him. You know. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So you ventured into producing a video for yes. Life is what you make it. Yes. And well, you reached out to Night well, and Day. Yes, man. Tell us about this great. This is always an interesting story. <laughs> I know this. Because you always have an idea of what you want a video to be, and the videographer has an idea of what will work or what is achievable or what yep. is a little pie in the sky. And uh, it's a wonderful process of blending those together. Mm -hmm. So tell us about how you guys creatively were able to come up with what you wanted. Well, you know, the process always starts off by hearing what the artist yeah. wants to, <laughs> yeah. to see as his vision. Um, what I did, I did a, a balance between what he wanted. He wanted mountains, and he wanted to be on top of a mountain, mm -hmm. and you know, singing his his verses and different things. And of course, we had never make a reach top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna. Why? Be Who me out of shape for getting man? <laughs> yeah. Well, there were two. There were, there were two things. One where we decided to shoot the video. Um, hurricane season start. Oh. So you know when hurricane season will start this year. As a start, it start get a rain. Right, yeah. So yeah. the clothes and every visibility of yeah. the shots were not not not, not great. So yeah. mm -hmm. what we had to do, we had to wait for the right time, and then yeah. when we wait for the right time, the sun came out and everything. But the land was pretty wet. We pretty actually wet. had a uh, area where we wanted to shoot that showed the the mountains very close. So we had to backtrack again and mm -hmm. then you know reach up to find another location mm -hmm. up somewhere where it was a little bit drier. But the rains came back again, so we had to wait. And then we then shot at the location that it's now in the video. Um, but the other things, we were both in line with um, what we wanted to do mm -hmm. when it came to mm -hmm. the visuals for the message of the video. So there wasn't much tag on war with It's that. beautiful, I have yeah, to say that much. Video. I mean, yeah. you, you sacrificed the mountains, but the shots that you guys worked with, uh, the blue sky yeah. and the green to the bottom and you in full white, it really is a beautiful shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah. I, I think it's it's not so bad that you're not on top of the I mountain. I never come up with the full white part, yeah. that I connect part. But <laughs> after all, when I say his mind and my mind yeah. put together everything and orchestrate that video, mm -hmm. yo, I feel so. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel mm -hmm. accomplished. Yeah. Yeah, but the journey still not started. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And any um, 
interesting stories we can hear about the scene. What was your experience shooting the video? Well, it was a new experience because usually when I Belize has a small, limited music market. So when it comes to music, like nobody takes it serious, you know. But for make it be for for for, it, for be my passion, I could talk Creole, right? I yeah, yeah. All right, for it, for be my passion, I see it as that that like my life, you know. So when it comes to doing certain things, we usually move fast and we usually just do it without planning and you know. Yeah. So we would have just get the camera, go to our spot, shoot, boom, 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 boom. Post that up YouTube, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, and that not really, it, that's not professional, you know. And brother Kenneth Grant right there teach me a big level when it comes to that professionalism right there. Mm -hmm. if, if you could present yourself, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, like for publish, yeah. And for you, Kenneth, was it was it challenge because? You've done a lot of work, you know, you've got this established company out there. Uh, was it difficult for you, especially with this video, finding the right time and then again working along with, uh, with Cross? Well, we had uh, a bunch of difficulties, um, but a lot of them were out of our control since most yeah. of it was outside. Yeah. Um, it comes with a job with, you know, teaching people the different things and the different steps that they have to take when doing different things when it comes to their, their music videos or different projects. So they are excited, they want to move on. And he has nitro, so he's press play and go. <laughs> but I had to press brakes and <laughs> slow down. Yeah. You know, you have to plan, we have yeah. to come up with ideas. What do we want to see? You have to mix between what I'm going to do and what you want yeah. and put it together so we have a balance. Yeah. more what you want and then also more pro, uh, professional to yeah. the public. Cross, you, you know, you, you seem very spiritual and you seem to be focused on exactly what you want. And like you mentioned, this is not something that, you're, uh, uh, that you just got up one day and said, you know what? You're actually being led by your, by your, by, by your, by your, you know, by your creator. Being, yeah. Yes. So what do you say to young guys who've got the same mentality as you, who would think, you know what, they're, they're heavily, heavily, heavily reluctant in trying to push themselves because they don't know what the outcome will be. You actually made that step. What do you say to a young upcoming uh, Belizean artist who wants to be out there? Well, if you are interested in something and you see it as as beneficial and as valuable to you as life, I think you would go the extra mile for it. I think you are got the necessary steps for learn or you need for learn to get yourself in at the correct like flow because mm -hmm. if you just get up and just say, I will be a poor abundant today and you go up on the street say I go sell that. Nobody now buy that cow from the time they say that they know something wrong in that. You know, some people are buy it and taste it and never again you again see it, you know. But then, you know, like me, I come off on 09, I'm do my thing, I start right up first. <clears throat> After I'm in the right up and I get, I get um, physical, like I start to do appearance in front of people and do all you clash, you know. Mm -hmm. And I notice man, they tell me that I have lyrics and I could expand, you mm -hmm. know. So I, I pursue and I do my thing and that's how, that's how I get on the level of how I'm wanted, you know. All right. Well, now people get to see your work the and uh, go ahead and do your intro for your new music video. Well, it's Cross the Movie Night, your Belizean Psycho Articulate Miza. And this is the official launch of the Life is What to Make It video. Large Up Channel 5, open your eyes. Big. Behold, I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Cross the moving night. We are of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, sir, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. Sila. How a man wait for reap corn and none no dead de. And him know to himself he never plant yesterday You fi place a side once Be span pan your rated Jaja come first cause him constantly here fi we Earth have we like hostage pan captivity So tell him knowledgeable fi keep Dear sanity ka Jaja said this at the time He will come fi we only the book of life could get to prepare for this Life is what you make it Make it yeah 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 Me 
they just a want live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right, because life is what you make it, make it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me just a want live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right. Life obstacles is just to build you what a man can be. A just judge a whole girl, you could never find life. If it's still sweet, and not just try to try the road when I run. It just feel better when just they close. And I follow the witchcraft, me no work with the OB from the manic forces. Just protect me, soul. Cause if them dear try touch one of your soldier, it overcast. Life is what you make it, make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me just a go and live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right. Because life is what you make it, make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me just a go and live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right. First is presented to the tabernacle when John don't speak. No debate can't go tackle. Cause we free from the chain, so left we unshackle. Claim victory, but we a go win this battle. When the trumpet blow off in them ears, I go rockle. Your face start makes the before you so start to travel, catch up. Do you the free will? So I all the hustle. Me not perfect, but me try to live humble. Life is what you make it, make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me just a go and live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right. Make a life is what you make it, make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me just a go and live up me life. I'll do a bad them, I wish me right. Go on and wait for it. And none no dead there And he know to himself He never planned yesterday You feel place aside once We span priority Judge a come first Cause him can't only hear for we Earth have we like hostage Band captivity So tell him knowledgeable For keep the sanity Cause judge I said this at the time He will come for we Only the book of life Could get you prepared for this Life is what you make it Make it Yeah, yeah, yeah me just a go and live up me life I'll do a bad them, I wish me right Because life is what you make it, make it Yeah, yeah, yeah Me just a go and live up me life I'll do a bad them, I wish me right And uh, there you saw it, our debut of Life is What You Make It from the artist Shikel Cross the Nitro. Yeah. Beautiful video there, shot by Night and Day Photography. Very, very meaningful if you listen to the words of it. Excellent. Like you mentioned, uh, Night and Day Photography. Yeah. Making things happen there. Okay, and but so we are shifting gears at this time, and it is Fun Friday after all. We're keeping the energy going, and we're going to be finding out about a new project. This is a show called Homegrown, mm -hmm. and it is produced uh, by Belizean Rajiv Pollard. Good so morning. Raj, Raj, of course, good morning, my brother. We are loving the colors. That much we could tell you. Thank Lights you, thank things you. Up. John so seems to be jealous while of everybody's <laughs> out. <laughs> I got to tell you that. While it's a fun <laughs> Friday, I'm wondering here if we should have him sing or, or dance. Well, actually, I We're saw a kidding. dancing We're video posted kidding. yesterday. I did not know that you knew how to dance. <laughs> Listen, listen. So about homegrown. <laughs> but first of all, sorry. I, um, before we begin, I just want to congratulate you guys here at Great Belize for all the awards that you won this Yay. past week. So yeah. kudos to you guys, and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank so, you very time. much. <laughs> and you know, let's let's find out a bit about you, Rajiv. I think people have seen you on TV before. You were once the, a host. You did Enviro Connect. Uh, yeah. You have uh, been on TV, been behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, this seems to be a passion of yours. Tell us about it. Right. Well, um, this began some years ago when I was an adolescent and I was in high school. And I took the opportunity to host a show um, which was live from the red carpet. It was a cov it was the cover live coverage of, I believe it was SA from at the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Um, and then that led to some other opportunities through radio hosting, mm -hmm. hosting live shows. And I realized I had a, I was comfortable doing it. Yeah. And I was encouraged by others to continue. But I always felt that there was, I wasn't hitting the nail, really. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I was interning here at Channel 5, mm -hmm. 
I realized that creating and coming up with ideas was something I naturally did. Mm -hmm. And the problem with ideas is that they just remain ideas unless you bring them to fruition. Yeah, so nice. um, I realized I needed the skills to formulate and to professionally bring forth these wonderful ideas I have in my head. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to go to school for film production. And the skills that I, I've picked up, I've came home and over the summer, I brought them to life in the form of Homegrown, which is a web show um, that's a travel show and a food show and an interview show that and covers... And a music show. And a music show that covers <laughs> three main bases. So the three main bases Homegrown covers is the food from different parts of Belize, mm -hmm. the businesses that provide us with the food, mm -hmm. and as well as interesting people from these locations that, uh, that we highlight and have interesting conversations about and hear their stories. Yeah. Yeah. And what I try to do on Homegrown is tie in the marriage of the food and the culture and the people from these locations. All right, excellent. So how did you, you know, and, and I love what you said, you know, we all have ideas. And when you're doing a production, it takes the fine tuning to, I mean, because you could want to, you could want to do everything, right? Um, but what made you go with this specific focus of what you are delivering in Homegrown? I think this started from me living in other places outside of Belize. Okay. Mm -hmm. I spent some time in New Jersey doing community college there, and as well as New York. And then I went to Jamaica to do my undergrad degree. Mm -hmm. And I realized that people are so fascinated with our food in Belize. Mm -hmm. So things that we felt are just normal. You normal know, you, to us, you go yeah. to the panades shop, you go get <laughs> you know, three dollars panades for lunch, and then later in the day to eat rice, and then maybe for, for tea or have your powder bun and cheese and my so things like that we find normal but people would say wait so you eat corn with this and that just fascinate them and so i realized <laughs> that we are not only a diverse people but our palates are diverse as well of course. so that was really what gave me the kick to come home in june and say you know what people need to realize yeah. the food not just belizeans but people abroad that we have such an amazing delicacy Oh, definitely. We, that, that much we, you know, we, we know for a fact that we've got that. Now, right. let's get back into uh, challenging the fact Today of uh, producing and then again putting your ideas to, to fruition, like you mentioned. Ideas could be ideas, but as long as you put it to fruition, everything would be... What was it like for you? Because there are a lot of people out here with a lot of ideas, but mm -hmm. putting it to fruition is definitely a challenging thing for them, I guess, because of the, the, the freed of failure. What was that like for you? Um, well, I think everyone has that fear of failure mm -hmm. at some point in their lives, and it's very difficult to overcome. I had it. I still have it at some times, at some points in my life. And I really would like to thank all the people that I've had conversations with about uh, all my ideas, because there may be 150 of them that never happened, <laughs> maybe more. And um, you kind of leave with this feeling of, you know, oh, I already tell someone that we are do this, we are do that, and then it just never happened. And yeah. now the person look by a certain way, you say, yo, the <laughs> person are pretty bad. Um, but after you really find that one idea and you kind of find that motivation to say, mm -hmm. listen, whether it goes well, whether it goes bad, you did it. And that's the most important thing. That's what I realized is that if you know the work, then you know to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to do it no matter what. Yeah. And if you fail, you learn from your failures and you learn how to make Be your better. future ideas better, like you said, Marlene. So it was difficult initially, um, but you really, it's, it's, it's a kick and um, you get, yeah. So we could have asked Kenneth to stick around because you teamed up with Night and Day Photography right. and you decided to just go ahead and self-fund your first pilot, your pilot. Yes, yeah. well, I had a conversation with a very good friend of mine, um, Marlene Coy, I don't know if you ever heard of her. Yeah, we've heard of her. She mm -hmm. encouraged me to, to go ahead and shoot a pilot. And um, I've, done, I've done productions that I've spent out of my pocket as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I have no qualms about doing that because if you really believe in yourself, you have to invest in yourself. Of that, course. I'm a firm believer mm -hmm. in that. So if you don't invest in yourself, no one else will invest in you any at all. So I went ahead and shot my pilot and, um, with Night and Day and the show would not be where it is or how it looks right now. Um, if you go on YouTube and view Homegrown, it's, it's a phenomenal piece, if yeah. I may say so. From, You're happy with the results. From the perspective of, uh, of the production and the work that Night and Day Studios yeah. did, um, it looks fantastic. So it would not be where it is without Kenneth and Night and Day Studios, so I'm very happy with that. Definitely. So, so you know, I, I want to jump in on um, 
because I'm very anxious to see what the first episode is going to be like. It's, uh, we've got a preview uh, that, will come, but that will be coming up. Yeah. But talk to us about uh, uh, your, your first one with Tanya Carter. What yes. was that like for you? Right, so the, the, the goal of the show is to go to different parts of Belize mm -hmm. and where we cover different foods and highlight different people from those areas. But of course, the pilot episode had to begin with the part of Belize where I'm from, which is Belize City. Uh -huh. And my favorite food, which is rice and beans, and uh, one of my good friends, which is Tanya Carter. So me and Tanya went to D&D's diner and we ate rice and beans and had a conversation there. Uh-huh. About gravy, right? About, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about everything. <laughs> about more than that, but the gravy part stuck out to me because, you know, and that's, that's one of the things I wanted to touch on. You know, sometimes they're little, um, what we would consider frivolous things mm -hmm. uh, that are actually quite contentious when you have a broader conversation, whether you put ketchup on right. something or whether it's a lot of gravy less gravy <clears throat> breast or leg yeah. if you're looking at the chicken <laughs> parts these are i think these are very important don't topics don't even go to that should the be Dario's taken. versus Pau well, should be taken like, seriously oh, war about to break out again but i I've, I've actually petitioned to disallow onions going into potato salad so Who put onion in potato I like it, and I can put it in anything. But for the, for the pineapple on pizza debate, which well, I'm pro pineapple. I, yeah. But anyways, the point is, you see how we naturally have fun with this. I think that's one of the things we saw in the show itself. Um, what do you? What, what is your overall objective? What do you want people to watch, yeah. homegrown, and be able to? maybe ask themselves or recognize? That's a very good question. So the two things that I want is for Belizeans to watch and realize how many things we are able to be a proud of, yeah. to be proud of and how, what we should be proud of. Yeah. Because one is the food that we can boast about anywhere we go in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but as well to, to the businesses that we grew up around that provide us with food, that nourish us. These are people who are important to our communities. Mm -hmm. And so learning about um, the importance of the business as well as young people who are across the country mm -hmm. and have stories to tell that, have, that are doing great things. And these, this is what I want to highlight in Homegrown for Belizeans. Secondly, for people who are not from Belize, is for them to watch an episode of Homegrown and say, okay, I can understand what people from Belize look like, what they speak like, what they eat, and how a country operates. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so in less than 10 minutes, you can pick that up from homegrown. You know, I could, I, your timing is, I mean, 10 minutes, that's, that's a lot of work to get an episode of, down. It's actually seven change, isn't it? Like, the first yeah. episode is about seven yeah. change, and the second episode that we filmed is a, a bit shorter than that as well. Man, that is hard I, I to, could, be, to, to put together something that concise, but that was your specific aim, right? That is the aim, seeing as it is a web show mm -hmm. and um, the attention span and the commitment to viewers to, to, come, to watch a show in to its entirety end, yeah. is, uh, the recommendation is, a, is, is about between four and seven minutes. So I, that's the aim. I think what you've clocked in right now is uh, the attention of Belizeans who have got the ideas because I could actually see an episode of Belizean Bubu <laughs> or, you know, something uh, Belizean see, something like that. There'll be people who would want to go, uh, who would want to, go to you and, and say, you know what, I've got some ideas as well. And from, from what I'm seeing here, it seems that you're in somebody who, would in, who invites ideas. Because Absolutely. We, what, what this does for us is actually market the entire country in a whole. Where do we get, where do we get to you, man? Where do we find you? Right, so on Facebook, I am Rajiv Pollard. I do have a Facebook page, an official Facebook page, which mm -hmm. is Jeeves, J-E-E-V-S, which is the name I go by and that most people know me as. Mm -hmm. on, um, my email address is pollardrajiv at gmail.com. My last name, first name at gmail. Um, I'm on Instagram, uh, Jeeves from Belize, J-E-E-V-S, F-R-O-M, Belize. Um, and yeah, like you mentioned, I invite all ideas because I know what it's like to have an idea about something and then having someone just throw it out the window and say, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, just sometimes you, you have to commit to the things that you want to do and you've done that with Homegrown. And I want to ask oh. you, how do you, you said your first episode was, you know, in Belize City where you grew up. It's um, also with a good friend of yours, Tanya Carter. Mm -hmm. Um, at one of the places that you both like to eat. Right. Now, what's your vision in terms of who you want to share uh, on your show itself? Is it, uh, are you looking specifically at the music community or? 
it's yet to be defined. Well, uh, really and truly, it's about artists. And yeah. when I say artists, not just musical artists, but visual artists, people who are creators, people yeah. who are entrepreneurs as well. Yeah. In my eyes, they're all artists because mm -hmm. to be in any one of those fields, you have to be aware of your surroundings. You have yeah. to be an observant person to realize and say, well, what am I good at and what can I contribute to yeah. my community? So to me, that's art. And so the second episode, we interviewed photographer by Kiel Sami. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a photographer from Kyle. Mm -hmm. And well, since I mentioned Kai, I guess you can already. I, I want to know what food. <laughs> what food, what right? Food. What food. <laughs> well, the episode premieres next week. And so you can find out then. All right. So we have to go on YouTube to be able to access it or your Facebook page where you have the link. That's correct. So if you go on YouTube and search Homegrown, if you search Homegrown Belize, it's the first, it's one of the top three results. Okay. There. Right. So at this particular point, the, the first episode is already on there. That's correct. You're able, yeah. to, you're able to view it. Again, where do we go? You can view, you can like, you can share, you can comment. And I encourage everyone to do it. If you like the show, if you think it has good content, every view, every like, every share, it helps further production mm -hmm. for the episodes. And so it's on YouTube, Homegrown Belize. It's on my YouTube account, J-E-E-V-S, Jeeves. Is there a particular part of your first video that was really interesting to shoot or to be able to execute? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, They're always great behind the scenes stories. <laughs> yes. You know what? The first episode went, went by really quickly and it was very smooth because me and Night and they have a good working relationship. relationship yeah. And Kenneth is very, very sharp when it comes to these things. Every now and then I have to stop and say, yo, Kenneth, you bad, yeah. you know, you bad. Uh, <laughs> um, it also helped that me and Tanya were very good friends as well. And yeah. we've had sat, we've sat down and have conversations like the one we had. Over on rice and beans. Yeah. Over rice and beans, right. So I would say, ooh. So I think many. I think the fav my favorite part of producing the first episode was um, was really all the the B roll footage, what we call B roll. So it wasn't the actual dialogue and the conversation that we had, mm -hmm. but it was all the posing and then the walking to order and um, mm -hmm. sitting down and doing certain things that kind of come up and use well for the B roll and where the music is over yeah. and things that I'm not used to because that's not really my thing. The I'm acting really, part. The of acting it, yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. That's not really my thing. So. But, right. but I know the purpose of it yeah. as a filmmaker and as a producer. I know the purpose of it. So I get it done. Easy well, it's easy. very fun to watch. Uh, it's very short, so you can be able to watch it uh, very quickly. And I think um, while we often hear Tanya talk about uh, her musical achievements, mm -hmm. it's also kind of just her lifestyle in Belize that you get, you get a taste of as, as well and her inspiration. And so, uh, yeah, it was very fun to watch. So people should check it out. And I really want to see what you're going to eat in Cayo. Because I have my favorite stuff in Cayo. And we'll see if you went that route. Well, uh, it rhymes with Tarta Q. So. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Me view, that's so yeah. good. Yeah, my brother. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, just from listening to what Marlene mentioned, I could uh, actually see that we're getting the best of both worlds, getting the best of rice and beans and then getting to know who Tana Kata is and how she does her stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. And these, right, so these, these types of content are important for artists because not only are we, do we get to familiarize ourselves with their work, but also who they are. Yeah. And that's why it's so beneficial for them because we, as fans and consumers, we fall in love not just with an artist's work, but who they are and their personality. And their story, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, do check it out. It's called Homegrown. Look for it on YouTube or find Jeeves on Facebook and you can be able to get in touch there. We are completely out of time now, so thank you for coming in. And you said the next show premieres next, next week? Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Right. We'll be on the lookout for it. It's shot in Cayo. It's obviously about barb. They're going to eat barbecue. And uh, we get Maybe. to have There's another a great conversation. A small possibility. <laughs> we'll take a break and uh, we will be back in a few. Stay tuned.